Okay guys, today's a short video. I'm just gonna show you guys how to properly put on the wrist wraps and the elbow wraps. So I've been looking on YouTube for instruction on how to do this and I couldn't find anything. And then the other day I had a um, buddy might come up to me and say, hey, how do you put this on? I'm looking on YouTube on the internet and I couldn't find anything to tell me how to properly put this on. So it'd be a great idea to tell you guys. A common mistake I see with these, let's open these up. All right, so you start with your thumb in the hoop, and then you want to wrap it around like so. But a common mistake I see with this is people are using it as a wristband, right? So they wear it like this loosely, and then there's no support on your wrist. So the purpose of the wrist wrap and the bench press or any pressing movement is to stop your wrist from bending back, right? To add, give added support so your wrist stays here. You don't want your wrist back here. So when you wrap, you come around the palm right here, not around the wrist, around your palm. Come around, around the thumb a little bit. Hold on, like so. Shit, guys. So now, there's a lot less resistance here. I should say, um, a lot more resistance if you're trying to bend the wrist back. So the difference is it's just a lot higher up. It's almost like halfway up your hand versus if you have it, which is I see all the time, like this, where it's, there's nothing. There's no support if you wear it like this, guys. And the first time I started using this, this is exactly how I wore it. And for most people, for most guys who use this, this is exactly how I see it. So there's a simple fix to that, the proper way to do it. Just wrap around here, higher up around halfway up your hand, and then you get a lot more support. And that's all. But so another thing is too, when you're competing in powerlifting, you can't have your thumb through the loop in most federations. So just make sure to make a habit of taking your thumb out the loop. That's all. The uh, elbow wraps are a little bit more complicated, but it's still really easy to use. So first thing you want to do is there's a, a band here, right? So let me take it out. It's going to look like this when you unwrap it, right? So you put this end through the hole here and have the Velcro on the outside. And then you want to slide your arm through it, right? So it looks like this. This is where you're starting, right? The Velcro's on the outside. You should be looking at the band right here. You should be looking at it. So you don't want to start with it loose and then start wrapping, right? So an uh, example of using it incorrectly would be just like this. There's no support here, but I see this all the time. So make sure you start, let's see if you guys can see that, below, a little, a little below the elbow right here. You wanna start like right here. Tighten, this is how you tighten it, pull back. Make sure it's tight, you'll feel it. Tight, and then if you're wrapping it yourself, you wanna get full coverage here. So you don't wanna wrap directly over it like this. You wanna go over here and then make sure the elbow is fully covered for the first wrap. And then the second, you come around and boom. There's Now there's a lot of support here. There's a lot of support. And your elbow joint should be showing at all. The wrap should come right below where your tricep ends. So see my tricep right here? It should end right below that. You don't want your wrap to be way up here on your tricep. So I'll do that again. First tighten, then come around to cover, so let me do it again. Come around to cover your elbow and pull tight here. This is where you tighten it, right here. Then again in the center. So you're not coming up again here. You're coming in the center and so you catch the Velcro. And then double check that the Velcro is making full contact. Otherwise it'll snap right off. So you don't want it to be on like this because then it'll pop off. So you want full contact with the Velcro. So this is how you're gonna wrap it if you're wrapping it yourself. But Brad, you wanna come over here and show them if you have assistance. This so, how, so this is how we normally do it. This is how we normally do okay. it. Okay, yeah, this is like, <laughs> if you're it's like part solo. of the process too. Yeah. It's funny this way. It's Much like a little funny. hype, you know, we're like, we're like tell each other like fucking, you know, don't be a pussy on this set, like yeah. as we're wrapping it. This is where we're getting each other's heads. Exactly. Okay. So you want to grab something, anything. So we're going to show you exactly how we do it, right? So we're going to go like, so it'd be like this. Right? And make sure your tricep's locked and your elbow's locked. So we go like this for like, 
All right, we're like, are you fucking ready, bro? I was born, man. Just fucking go. Okay. Don't be a fucking pussy, though. Just for putting this on the ground. Oh, there's no pussy in Don't Let's be a fucking this. pussy. Okay. There's no pussy. So, and then I'm focusing, all right? Like he said, very important. Both sides of the elbow. Okay, so if you're wrapping your buddy, you want your buddy's arm to be straight. Yeah. Gotta be straight. Not Almost bent. Like, not bent. Straight. Contract the tricep. Have him contract the tricep so his arm's straight. Under the elbow, above the elbow, right? And then right in the middle, like he was saying. So yeah, you don't want to wrap high yeah. on the third wrap. So right before you put the Velcro on, you don't want to wrap yeah. up here. You're not, you're not like, it's not like up, up, up. No. It's not like a, like a candy cane. It's Christmas today, so I'm like, <laughs> you know, the candy cane does this. Nah, we're going, we're going bottom of the elbow, top of the elbow. Then right, back in the middle. Right in the middle. Right. Right, you're like, all right, bro. Don't be a fucking pussy, okay? Bro, there's I know no you pussy have those in tendencies. Me. Hell no. There's no pussy in me. <laughs> Is my name Bradley Martin? No. Oh, I do be like, whoa. Oh, Is it though? No, it's, it's okay. Larry Martin. All right, I'll take that. I all got right. the last name. Bradley, second comment. We did, the, right. we did the damn, we did the thing over here. We did do the thing. With the girls, so. They, yeah. it should be, they should see that already, right? By that time you watch this video, you'll see the thing with the Santa and the girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> Is this Adam's cookie? Because I kind of want to just eat it. Bro, where it has this countertop been? You yeah, I didn't that? put the cookie there. <laughs> he put the cookie there. I want to slide it on. Oh, no. He don't care. He's still gonna eat it. He put it there. Oh my god. All right, so that makes sense to you guys, right? That makes sense, right? All right. So, so to uh, resume where we left off, you never want to yeah. bench with just the elbow wrap on. You want both. You need both. Uh, you can bench with only the wrist wrap and no elbow wrap. But you can't bench with just the elbow wrap and no wrist wrap. Wait, so what I've been doing? I've been, I don't, I've, I've been fucking up then. You've been fucking up, bro. Damn, dude. You've, been, you've been fucking, fucking up. That's why I don't bench as much. That's <laughs> literally, that's the only reason why. Bro, just, just adding this piece alone will get you a six pack. I'm stronger than Larry Wheels. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it! I knew it. He's got all the tricks. So the finished product just looks just like this. Yeah, hell yeah. You know? And this will give you a lot of support. And guys, some of you may not have 21, 22 inch arms, so there's gonna be more slack in the wrap than on me. Cause I, we, Bradley and I have big arms, right? And it's not common for guys to be walking around 270, 280. So the constant remains the same though. So if you have a smaller arm. Oh, I, yeah. I think it's important to note, mention this too. Uh, you want it to be pretty tight. You want it to be tight. So you want it so tight that like, not where you feel like, oh, I'm cutting off completely the circulation, but when you finish your set, you should want to take it off. You know what I mean? Yeah. It should be that tight that you're like, okay, I want to take it off for a second. As like soon as you're done with it. your set, after you scream and you get hyped up. Throw the belt. Rip, yeah, yeah, throw the throw belt, it. don't forget that. You rip these off. Yeah. That should be like the first thing on your mind. And yeah, depending on how good the PR was, you can like throw it, don't, <laughs> throw it across the gym. Yeah, ball it up, toss as far as but you can. Don't, but don't do that, because you might hit somebody. <laughs> Yeah. They made somebody. Yeah. And they're not yeah. they're not all Larry Wills. They can't be like, oh shit, sorry. Like, Who the fuck was that? And they'd be like Larry, they'd be like, oh shit. Sure. I'll let it slide. But yeah so. guys, so if you have a smaller arm, just make sure you tighten here first. You don't want to start wrapping with it like this to where it's loose. Yeah. You want to make sure this is tight. And then it's the same thing. So if you have a small arm, when you get to the wrap, you pull down here tight. Right here. This is where you tighten. And then with the wrap, make sure that the Velcro is in contact with this Velcro as much as possible. Yeah. So you don't want it to be like this, right? You want as much of the Velcro to make contact as possible. It's basically like a condom for your elbow. Protection. Yeah. Right? Same thing, right? Kind of? Yeah, it's like a rib condom though. Because like it's a bit more than a regular condom. Like an ultra, like an ultra sensitive one. No, 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 not ultra sensitive. More like a rib one. Oh, like so, a little more protection. Nah. More protection, like yeah, safer. Like a yeah, much safer. Yeah. So if I don't wear it when I bench, does that mean I'm getting the bench pregnant? <laughs> and then we'll have dumbbells as babies. I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> and if I wear it, does that mean? You know, I'm just doing, you know, practicing safe sets. <laughs> well, if, if, if that was the case, then I'd have a ton of babies by now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I'd have too many, dude. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. I got I to gotta ruin the video somehow. I would take care of them, though, if that's what you're concerned about. I would take care of my dumbbell babies. I'm not a Debbie dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love you, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was dope. Well, are you going to tell them where they get them, though? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, most importantly, there are a lot of wrist traps and elbow wraps out there, guys. There are dozens of them out there, but I released these because it's something I believe in, something I've always wanted to come out with on my own, and 
guys, you aren't really buying so much the rap or the wrist wrap. It's not any better or worse than any other brand out there, but you're buying what it stands for. Purse the records. Always do your best. Be your best. Break those PRs. Check out PRMerch.com in the caption below. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment. And you already know Bradley Martin. Yeah, I love you, know, you guys. Regardless. You Even though you guys might talk some shit, I still love you. I still love you. It's okay. I love you. Like, we go way back. Yeah. It's all up in here. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys soon.